Hello, I'm Dr. David Clark from the Department of Journalism, Sheffield Hallam University, and consultant to the National Archives for the release of the MOD's UFO files. This is the third instalment of UFO files transferred from the Ministry of Defence, which are available to download from the National Archives dedicated website, which can be found at www.nationalarchives.gov.uk forward slash UFOs. There are seven files in all, containing details of around 1,200 separate UFO sightings that were reported to the Ministry of Defence between November 1987 and April 1993. UFO reports come from many different sources, right from the ordinary person in the street to police officers, air traffic controllers and pilots. When someone makes an official report concerning something unusual that they've seen in the sky, details are entered on a standard form which goes to the Ministry of Defence main building in London. In addition to the written reports, these files contain a number of intriguing images, including amateur drawings from eyewitnesses. One of these drawings shows an object seen hovering over a forest near Utoxeter in Staffordshire, which the observer described as looking like something from a Steven Spielberg movie. Another eye-catching example is a drawing of a knobbly kneed banana-shaped UFO with legs and arms, sketched on a report logged from a caller in London. For many years, the Ministry of Defence copied these reports to up to three separate branches whose job it was to check each sighting for any possible defence interest. Most of the reports in this release were collected by a branch known as DI-55. DI-55 is part of the Defence Intelligence staff. During the Cold War, their main responsibility was collecting information on Soviet missiles and aircraft. A small part of their task list was to monitor UFO reports coming into the Ministry of Defence for any intelligence they might contain on foreign aircraft. These files also include some very bizarre stories reported by members of the public. One of the most unusual was reported to RAF Wattisham by a lady who claimed she had met a man from another planet one morning in 1989 while she was walking her dog in Norwich. The alien wore a flying suit and looked Nordic in appearance. He claimed his people were friendly and were responsible for the crop circles that had been found in many farmers' fields across England. She fled, and as she did so, she heard a loud buzzing noise and saw a brightly lit object rising from some trees. The RAF officer who took her call said the woman sounded genuinely distressed, but she refused to give her name and address. In his report to the Ministry of Defence, he described this as, quote, one of our more unusual UFO reports. There are quite a number of um, other interesting UFO stories in these uh, files. Uh, One of them includes a sighting reported by staff in Heathrow Airport's control tower of a boomerang-shaped object that was seen early one morning in December. This was in uh, 1992. There is also a very interesting sighting reported by the crews of six RAF tornado jets who reported being overtaken by a brightly lit UFO whilst on an exercise over the Dutch-German border in November 1990. This was late at night and um, they believed that what they'd seen was possibly the then top secret US stealth fighter. Actually, we now know it was the burning debris from a Russian rocket that had been used to put a satellite into orbit earlier that night. All these seven files can now be downloaded from the National Archives website which can be found at www.nationalarchives.gov.uk forward slash UFOs. (laughs) 